Hello, my name is Jeff Orchard, and I will be teaching CS473, also known as Medical Image Processing, in January. So a quick overview of the course, you can see a, a list of topics that we cover. I'll go over some of them very briefly today. Uh, image segmentation, signal processing, we'll talk a little bit about the theory um, of signal processing. Then we'll talk a bit about medical imaging sources, CAT scans, MRI. Then I'll talk a little about image enhancement, how we can um, manipulate images to make them look better and, and affect what information we can see from them visually. Then we'll spend more time talking about image registration segmentation, so I'll also describe those a bit right now. Um, sources of medical images, we'll talk about uh, MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, CT, which is computer tomography. Those will be our focus. Uh, we'll spend most time talking about those two, but I'll also briefly talk about PET and um, X-ray and ultrasound and we'll even see some uh, data set that are photographic cross-sections of a human body. Um, we'll, I'll talk about the physics behind mostly MRI and uh, computer tomography and we'll also um, be learning the reconstruction algorithms, how you take the raw data off of those scanners and reconstruct pictures of cross-sections through the body. We'll spend uh, more time on registration. So registration is taking images that are not aligned and aligning them. So it, in pictures of the same thing, but if you overlay them, you can see here these two MR scans are not perfectly aligned. So when you put them together, they don't, they don't quite match up. So let me just show you something uh, typical from a lecture. I'll often show MATLAB code. You will be programming in MATLAB. Um, so let me just run this script that demonstrates um, registration. So here's one image and another image. And you can see they're the same thing, but they're moved. Now if I subtract one from the other, you can see that not all the anatomy cancels out. But if we run this simple optimization algorithm, it can put one perfectly on top of the other and then everything cancels out. All the anatomical structures cancel out and you're just left with the noise. So we'll be learning um, algorithms like that in the course. Um, you can see on these images down here, the uh, images don't cancel out. Even if they were perfectly aligned, they wouldn't cancel out. In this uh, CT image, the bone, this is a cross-section through a skull, the head, the bone is bright, but in MRI the bone's dark. So you can't just uh, subtract the images and expect things to cancel out. You have to do something more sophisticated, and, and I'll teach you those algorithms. Segmentation is another class of uh, problems. The goal is to automatically classify different tissue types. So over here, this is a cross-section through um, a human abdomen, and I've outlined the liver, um, but you can see if I were to remove th that red line, it would be hard to tell where the liver stops and the intercostal muscles between the ribs starts. So you have to use more, um, you have to use a lot of the actual shape to figure out the difference between those two tissues. Here I'm showing um, an MR scan of a brain and here I've co colored all the pixels to classify the different tissue types, white matter versus gray matter. And so you will learn algorithms um, to do that automatically, get the computer to pick up those different tissue types automatically. So we'll use a lot of calculus, but all you need really is first year calculus. Linear algebra, just first year linear algebra. Optimization, um, nothing special. I will teach you uh, the optimization techniques we'll be using. We'll cover the Fourier transform and uh, we'll be programming in MATLAB. So just before I'm done here, I'd like to show you a little bit about how the lectures go. I give, I supply for you, supply to you uh, these notes, but they're not complete. So you can see this is just an example. Uh, of a, from a lecture where we're talking about the Fourier transform, you see there's this gap here. And so you come to lectures with these printed out and then I fill them in and talk about it. It's almost like writing on the board. But um, 2 pi i omega x dx. You can see I can't write and uh, talk at the same time. So you fill it in and that's how uh, the lectures go. I think it you know, you don't have to write in all this other stuff. It's kind of a waste of time, in my opinion. So that's CS473. And my name is Jeff Orchard. If you want to find out more information, 
please come in and uh, see me or email me and uh, we'll take it from there. Thank you. Bye-bye.